hello and welcome back so guys here in this class I'm just gonna teach you to create a complete lock-in system using the codignitor okay that will be really easy if you just learn what I'm just teaching you with the concentration so first of all we just completed the crowd actually you know that uh, the deleting updating and inserting and selecting what by the way now I just need to create a new project so first of all you know that we just have to create three things basically the view the model and the controller the base will be the model and the view so first of all I'm just creating the model here I'm just going inside the models fold uh, models folder yeah and just clicking on new file because I'm just gonna create a new model and here I'm just typing log in con controller okay and then I'm just pressing enter sorry I'm just click I'm just saving the file and then in the same folder inside this controller I'm just saving the file named log loginconphp okay now the thing is that generally we just create three three files basically three files are actually a single project but you know that we just install the uh, codignitor one time and then we're just creating multiple projects inside the same folder so you can see a lot of files in the controller but mostly we not because we just create a single project in a single codignitor but we can do this thing as well so by the way I, I'm just typing login con controller means dot PHP and clicking on save button it, it means it's been saved now we can just go to the uh, new con new controller and let us copy all these things however we just don't need all that things you simply copy and paste there um, basically why I just copied all them because you know that I just don't need to copy uh, don't do need to type this line and this line again and what I'm just doing I'm just only leaving the index and then all of them public so functions I'm deleting as you can see the delete post update post and etc and inside this index I'm removing this one and uh, actually that one too or uh, right now I'm not deleting but I'm just updating the class name with the original name of the file login c one now save okay basically I just created the login controller so what more I just need to create is to go to the views folder and then here just clicking on new file and save the file inside the views folder as login dot php and click on save okay I just created the simple view file you know that we have to put the complete HTML syntax here I'll do this later on the next thing is the model right now I'm not creating the model I'm just creating the view first so let's write the HTML syntax here I'm just putting that HTML the complete thing whatever you know that important now just go inside this and then the head the body oh spelling mistake body and inside the head I'm just putting the title okay and then here I'm just typing the login panel okay that's perfect now what more I just need to do I'm just going to the body area and I'm just putting uh, the P right now I'm just sim I'm just simply putting a P and inside this P I'm just typing that this is the login panel and then we need to go to the login controller and right now I'm just remo I'm just canceling the new view the new controller and the new model because exactly I just don't need them now I'm just going to the login view and here sorry login controller and that's perfect and first of all I just don't need to do anything with the model so I'm removing that simply just loading the view so here is the view you know that I just don't want to send anything to the view like data variable or something so the name of the view is if I just go there this is a view the name of the view is here login view so let's just change the name and type login view that's perfect save and go to the browser and at this time you know what we need to type localhost slash ci slash sorry ci slash index dot php and then not the new controller actually the login controller press enter and then you know that what I'll get it's about loading and it will show the data which is inside the login view basically go there to the browser now you can see that this is the login panel as you can see that if I just type the index then nothing will change because basically by default the index has been loaded 
to the web panel here this is the login panel if I just type anything there I'll get that too so basically it's working perfectly what more I just need to do is to apply some specific styles to this login view I'll do this in next class actually I'll apply the bootstrap and then you will see that how easy is bootstrap to use so guys goodbye and stay tuned